today's subject i don't know how to i mean it is something which is absolutely uh, god given this has been my journey right from day one because i always believed in breaking the shackles i didn't say breaking the shackles but i said i don't believe in the ritual i will do things which i think is best for me and what i think is best for my people or for my society for my students for whoever and i'll give you a few instances see i come from an industrial family which you know and my first interaction with a person who believed it, who was uh, the kind of a starter of the socialist movement in this country i don't know if you have heard his name or not dr ramanor loya i don't know how many of you have known him he was the pioneer of socialism in india and you can imagine when i went to meet him as a at that time i just finished my college and i was entering into the family business but i went to meet him and i introduced myself and i was not sure what kind of a response i will get but i got such a great response that from that day his door was always open to me and he had told me that whenever i desire i can go and meet him and interact and learn from him and also he used to welcome my suggestions so these were some of the starting days so i was i always believe that what is that to do with the industrial family and a socialism can't they be together can't they do things which is good for this country for good for these people our people my people so this is how i started now i don't want to get into all the thing which happened in between now i am in business i'm running some of my companies and there also i always believed in doing something unusual and i tell you before i elaborate one or two instances all my friends who were with me in school have retired now have passed that retirement age and we meet once in a while most of them have gone to us and served there to the best of their ability and now retired so when we meet they always people talk about what they did what are they doing past retirement so when my turn used to come i used to tell them i don't know when i will be able to talk about post retirement because i am not retired and i am not going to retire when i retire i will make this post retirement uh, chit chat anyway the things which we started doing in business i mean you know people do all kind of businesses and this uh, startups you students you must be knowing about startups what is this startup i mean you give any name startup what is it it is bringing your ideas to reality what you have thought what you have learned from school and your institution for college and post college and you think of an idea you want to bring that into actual picture you follow you you float a company you f- uh, float a partnership whatever and you want to create that small thing into a big thing that's what we are planning to do i'll give you one or two instances because i don't want to bore you but i want to talk to you about what you want to do tomorrow see uh we are in one of the areas which we are in is ayurvedic medicines 
Now, Ayurvedic medicine, everybody knows about it. The point is, till now, Ayurvedic medicine, people used to have a lot of products of Ayurvedic medicines. I want to, we are already, we are selling Ayurvedic medicines all across India. But we are now focusing on cancer treatment by Ayurved, how it can be done. I tell you, there are a lot of practitioner Ayurved uh, uh, practitioners. It is also possible in homeopathy and Unani. It's not a question of only Ayurvedic. It is other than allopathy, let's put it like that. In all the three, there are lot of merits. So we are trying to, uh, these are small, small people living in uh, 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 forests, living in uh, uh, mountains, and they're doing their practices. They may be living anywhere. But their radar is very small, a very small area they operate in. We said, no, we are going to make it all India. So we are trying to do that. And we are going to rope in cancer NGOs. This is one of the areas which we want to get in. It's a very, very cheap treatment so that it can reach poorest of poor in this country. Our idea is, to the best of our ability, if we can bring this medicine to the door of a poorest of poor who is requiring this treatment and is not able to do because of the money, and I feel very bad when I see that somebody is not able to do this treatment because of the money. We want to change this. That's breaking the shackle according to me. Then in the field of education, we just started it. What are we trying to do? We are trying to take up schools, start with schools, maybe tomorrow colleges, who are not doing well. Private schools, private colleges who are not doing well. Spread length of breadth of this country. We will take them over on a management or a lease, whatever you want to call it, and bring them to life and make them a real Indian institution. I am aware of, as all of you are aware, that our education system at one time was one of the greatest, and today it is getting great and tomorrow it will be again the same volume, value, same value, same volume. How do we do it? Because we had inherent strength. We want to use that to bring our education to the level where everybody is given that great education which made India great. That's what we want to do. And we've just started this. It's a very new venture. Loss-making schools and institutions will turn them into profit-making and give them the education which is for our people, for our institution, for our country. Now for, to you, uh, my young friends, I see you as tomorrow's running my India. I see you as running my India, running this world through India. How will you do it? You will only do it if you are great yourselves. I have an example I've just told, I did not know honestly. Two years back, there was a revolution in this institution of yours where you had a very able lady academician as your vice chancellor. It's a revolution. It should have happened many years back. It has happened in the political scenario. It has happened in the other areas in India. The first time it has happened here. And I know it's not the only last. It's going to happen. And there are so many other worthy uh, women uh, students who are now taking up exalted positions. And I'm sure with the help of your great institution, you'll come up not only in the university, but take up positions all over India to run India. I want you to run India. How do you run India? Because you have to be great. How you can be great? Because you have to be different. 
and you learn from your vice chancellor, if she could do it, and your other women uh, uh, members could do it, why can't we all of us do it? You cannot have a situation where you say, you want to live in a district where you come from and you have to have jobs in that district. I had this problem and I came 25 years back and we did a study and I found this is the problem. Why do we have to be in district where we live? We have to be all India. And why all India? We have to rule the world, so we, we have to be all over the world. I don't know if all of you or any of you know, most of you may know. We in India, our Indians, are running NASA. I don't know how many people know about it. We are running their software industry. We are running the whole of medical system of United Kingdom the country which accidentally came and took our country and now they are going to face the music. So the point is, if our people could do that, why some of you or all of you not do that? I want a promise from all of you through your vice chancellor and your other members of your academy council that what our ancestors do, we will do one step better to make them proud that so-and-so is my great-grandson or my great-granddaughter. Another revolution, I don't know if I have the time wise, please uh, let me know, but I'm sorry about the time. The, another revolution which is today and this is uh, very, very important from the point of view of gender discrimination. We will not allow in this country a gender discrimination. It has started with your vice chancellor ji. It started with our India itself when Indira Gandhi became the first prime minister. It happened in Pakistan when Benazir became the first prime minister, a woman prime minister. It happened in other countries as well. But the first prime minister happened in India, and one of the very few in Pakistan. We are supposed to be backward countries at that time, but we had lofty ideals where we said no gender discrimination. It is there prevalent in certain areas, I'm sure, but we are getting over it, as your Vice Chancellor Ji said, that yes, it has started and it is not going to stop. We are going to have not only equality, that's what she said, fewer are to see the women getting better placements in every sphere in India. Not as a competition, but to demonstrate <coughs> that till yesterday, who was walking behind the husband, Today is walking ahead of the husband. That's what she said, and I salute her for that, because that is the spirit which is going to change India, which we want to change. We are not going to be cowed down by the caste differentiation. We are not going to be cowed down by the religious discriminations and the religious differentiations. Because we are Indians first. And as I said earlier, I was happy to be part of this breaking the shekels. And so I'm going to be proud to be breaking the shekels. We will break the caste, we break the religion, and we work for India, we work for the Indian people, and we take it to rule the world. That's what I would like to see. I'm sure your Vice Chancellor Ji wants you to be one of that where you have that mashal which is going to be enlightening India, enlightening the world. With that, well, I've spent my 15 minutes, isn't it? You have two more minutes? Okay. Anyway, I have finished. I just want to say thank you again. Vice Chancellor Ji, your members of the faculty, your great community, your student community, and your organizers. 
given me a chance to speak on a subject which was always dear to my heart. Thank you very much. Jai Bharat Maa.